Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome back. I have a sauna test wave here linked to the internet, screen shared to my phone, and we're going to hook up live with my buddy Jesse Groom in Pennsylvania. So like I said, I've got a sauna test wave and what I've done is I've uh, synced it or done a mobile hotspot to my phone and then using an app called VNC for screen sharing. There's all sorts of apps you can get. VNC is just one option. You can actually display uh, the screen live on the phone that you can see on the um, on the actual wave itself. So that's super cool. But the real trick is when you're able to share that screen with someone else. So in this case, I've got Jesse Groom. He's a buddy from uh, Pennsylvania. Hi, Jesse. Thank you for being with me. No, no problem, Paul. So Jesse's done a video recently with the Z-Tech Topaz and kind of the neat things you can do with that. So when I came across the idea to kind of um, illuminate what you can do with these new instruments, the first thing I thought of was uh, I should probably call Jesse. He'd probably be willing to give up a Sunday and uh, Skype with me for two hours. So um, here we are, and what I'm gonna do is, uh, like I said, I've VNC screen share from the Wave to my phone, and then what I've done is we made a Skype call from my phone. All I did was on Skype, share the screen. Jesse's watching that live in his garage studio. So just as a simple experiment, I'm gonna take this Shear Wave probe on this uh, Flawtech plate, and I'm gonna slide this up to the corner trap. You can see here on the camera, we're gonna maximize that. And then one, two, three, I'm gonna twist it, okay? And we're gonna see what the delay is. One, two, three. What do you think the delay was, like a second maybe? Yeah, it looked pretty much live, Paul. That's awesome. So the idea is that with something like COVID 2020, right? It's just a dumpster fire of a year. Uh, we have to learn, and we've, we've had no choice. We've had to learn to do things differently this year, and this stuff is going to carry on. And this is something that is already built into your instrument. It's not driven by 2020. Any instrument that's got a Wi-Fi connection that you can share a screen with, everybody's walking around with a $1,000 or $1,500 cell phone in their pocket. Jesse's got a couple of them there here. He's, he's, apparently he's got a Galaxy Fold and a Note 10, and really all I have is a crummy Note 10. Um, you're walking around with all this technology. There's no reason to just keep this in your pocket and watch Netflix and listen to Spotify all day. We should be able to use this stuff for... Uh, for much bigger purposes. And I think this is a really neat thing to do. So if you're a UT level one or UT level two, and you've got some questions um, about what you're finding in the field, there's no reason to not just simply share your screen with your supervisor or a UT level three or a colleague somewhere and get some input. So Jesse, I'd like to thank you for uh, joining me today and putting up with our, our constant uh, <laughs> back and forth and trying to get these connections to work. But um, appreciate your time and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.